Hello everyone, this is Imran Amu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I am going to install WordPress CMS in the cPanel hosting environment. Okay, I will just follow the following four steps to install WordPress in the cPanel environment. Okay, to get cPanel access, you should have a domain name, suppose like themescode.net and a hosting account. If you already haven't purchased any domain name or hosting account i have provided the referral links in the video description below and uh, you can purchase from the link okay and if you have any hosting account and domain name and after the domain name type slash and cpanel and then you will get this environment okay so let's start with the first step first of all download wordpress cms okay and to download the wordpress cms you will go http clone slash slash wordpress dot org slash download i have provided this link in the video description and you can see a blue download wordpress button and you will hit this button to download wordpress cms zip file okay i have already downloaded the file and it's in the download folder in my computer and uh, here, here it is so my first step is done okay this one is done and now i should log in to cpanel and upload wordpress zip file just come here and use the username and put the password and try to log in here it is you can see the cpanel environment if you are not familiar with cpanel nothing to be worried about it's simple and in the cpanel you will find out the file section first okay here it is in my cpanel environment the file section is in the top section but it can be organized in different ways in your cpanel environment so just find out the file manager okay so i'll just upload wordpress here okay click on this file manager link and open in a new tab okay here here goes the environment where i will upload the wordpress cms zip file okay just click on this double click on this public html folder it is empty and i will upload here just hit the upload and what i'll do i'll just drag this and put here okay okay as you can see the wordpress zip file has been uploaded just get back to this environment and you can see the reload button just hit this reload button okay here goes the zip file and i'll just right click on the zip file and i'll extract it okay extract as you can see it has created a wordpress directory or folder whatever you say and what i will do just double click on it and access all the files and right click and move actually all the file which goes directly under the public underscore html directory so i'll just remove this and i'll just move all the files to the direct directory okay hit this move files up on level so now you can see under the public directory all file goes here now you can just delete this zip file it is not necessary and just select this file and hit this delete button this what page directory isn't necessary just select this and hit this delete okay the second step is done login cpanel and upload wordpress okay now third step create a database and a database user and add the user to database okay just go to the cpanel main section here as you can see this is the database section and mysql database hit this link and open in the new tab 
here I will create a new database so as this is the tutorial purpose I'm not going to make it big just sample tars okay just hit this create database button and database already added and I'm just going to get the name I'm going to note the database name okay now it's time to go back and create a user and the user should have a password what I did just I hit this password generator button and it generated a password for me and I have just copied the password get back here this is the password and now I will just create the user okay the username is this briefly I have noted here db user okay I hope you did not face any problem to this third step and now it's time to add the user to the database okay I'm just going to get back here and okay what I'll do just add my this database from here just scroll down and add user to database section I'll come here and I have created a database and the user and I'll just combine these two things and just user with this database I'm just going to hit this add button as you can see there is a pop-up just all privilege check this button to provide all privilege to the user and just the drop section the drop function won't be necessary just keep this unset just hit this make changes button okay everything is done and you can just open the domain name here themescode.net and just hit the browser okay this setting wizards will be available when you uploaded these files in the cpanel public underscore html directory okay just uh, in this case i'm going to choose english united states and hit this continue button to start the installation process and it says welcome to wordpress and before getting started you will just need this following things database name database username password name host name we have just collected these things already okay so just hit this let's go here it is here what i will do just provide just remove these things and update with this information i'll provide the database name here database username the password the database host name should be localhost or anything else it's up to you but try to change the table prefix put something here to change the default settings this wp hyphen will be the default things but you can change it just type some characters okay i just added three ca four characters okay then it will be different than the default table name in the what wish now hit this submit button and all right just hit the run installation great installation is done and now it's time to add the site title and username this username will be used to access the dashboard of your 
website so for this purpose the as it is a testing site in installation i'm just going to put run in the latest versions wordpress itself generate the password okay and your email just put the test email and i'll hit the install wordpress button but before i do this i'm just going to keep this username here i have noted the username and password now it's time to hit install wordpress button okay done as you can see success wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy okay we should enjoy i have already installed wordpress in the cfnl environment just it's time to log in the site dashboard here it is here i will use these sections the user and the password you can check it for remember the username and password just i'm going to hit this login button and just if you want to see the interface of this site just come here and mouse over here and visit the site button okay hope you have enjoyed the whole video to install wordpress in the cfnl environment and just i'm going to review the process i just downloaded wordpress cms and i logged into cpanel and upload, upload wordpress i created database database user and added the database and the user and everything is here okay and i could complete this section also now you can maintain everything here okay uh, i'll just create a series of tutorials to maintain wordpress for the beginners and i will upload later thank you